the extra overs of spin in the middle overs for South Africa. I think that's the key to this selection of Bien Fontaine. Drags it, use of the feet drags it, and it wasn't far away from Yanuman Milan at short my wicket. But the desired result is achieved. The boundary that Fakazaman was after. Chasing 145. The interest was always going to be the style of play that Pakistan were going to go with. Just a mediocre score. So a little more of a challenge now. Pakistan has been there for a couple of deliveries. Left hander. Ball spinning in to the arc. They worked away nicely. He'll be disappointed with that. Fontaine, he kicks the ground in disgust. He knows that's too easy. But guess whack for a boundary, so be it. But with that angle, it really did make it easy. There's that flat bat slog sweep. We've seen it throughout this tour and very rarely does he miscue. Even that last one, he taught it, tended to roll the wrists a touch, which meant it went at a flatter trajectory. But still comfortably clearing the boundary pickets. It's the length that he gets, Fakir Zaman. He's got no need to come down the wicket to create the length. Slightly fuller from Bjorn Fertain. And even though the two men are out on the fence, he's going to back himself. To clear it comfortably. I'll to repeat the dose and we'll do so. That's a more orthodox straight down the ground long on shot. Doesn't quite get down onto the one knee but the results the same. And this fantastic striking from Fakir Zaman. into the ground has it got past yes it has a fingertip on that but I think it's still going to be a test it is a test and the ball wins Fakha's form is a real bonus at number three can provide Pakistan with a great hitting platform on 33 of just 17 and what he's done well in this series is look to hit the ball a little straighter There is a sweeper out there, but he needs to be about 20 feet tall to have any chance whatsoever of getting close to that. Two different ways to hit the ball, to uh, hit the mark, whilst Babar Azam is a classical example of batsmanship. Here is Fakhar Zaman, who can launch an almighty attack with some great improvisation. Great shot over point. It's such an intriguing comparison, actually. Watching both these batsmen. Reaching of that one, he's getting that one away as well. That's another six. Oh, it's in the pool. No, it's not. I got excited there for a bit. What's that song? Twisting by the pool. <laughs> 14 from the over, shot and wide at pace. It's not going to work against somebody who likes that angle. Fucker. Once again, helping himself for a six over point. Now he needs to, or he needed to start out well here, Magala. Slow delivery. Just through the shot uh, well before it got to him, I think. He's okay though, there's a bit of a wrap on the helmet, but I think he's all right. Wants a new helmet. Happy with that one. Fifty for Fakhar Zaman in the meantime of just 27 balls. And uh, well, what a season he's had. Likes batting here in South African condition and suddenly it has clicked. Because technically he was all over the place playing with a crooked face of the blade, you know, playing mostly with half blade at times because of his unusual batting grip and everything seemed to be sorted now and what a great plus he has been if he continues to bat like this. Wow, that uh, is uh, far from ideal I would imagine. 
Zero one Linda. First ball smacked, smashed. And uh, well, this wasn't supposed to find the fence. It did in the end, courtesy Missfield. That's called a wide. So one spinner is not going to speak to the other spinner. Wrong footed. Between the legs. Yeah, I just missed it. <laughs> Punishment for George Linder, I think, now. He's been asked to run around the boundary. He missed that first one. I'm just joking. It's uh, pretty ordinary bowling, actually, from Shamsi. Uh, there could be a psychological barrier here, a mental block here against Fakhar, because he started off quite timidly against him. Ball spinning away wide. Providing the width and an easy boundary to Fakhar. A oh, big swing of that, he might be out here. Shams, I think, is getting underneath it. So Williams has taken a wicket. It is the end of Fakhar Zaman now. He is very annoyed with himself. Mulder it was, actually, who took the catch. So that's the end of Fakhar Zaman. South Africa will be very happy to see the back of him. Yeah, I got out at the wrong time. You've got to say because Shamsi is bowling from the other end and he absolutely tamed him in his first over. This was skied and sliced and easily taken in the inner ring. Impressive stuff from the left end. A 60 of just 34 balls, lightening the field with his great striking. 92 for two.